Good morning. I pray that your Thursday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace, of happiness, that you found one thing that made your heart sing. Maybe you ate something that made you say, mm, 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 mm. Or maybe you experienced the love of a child, or maybe someone was kind to you. Maybe you saw a beautiful picture, but I pray that whatever it was that you experienced, one thing that made your heart sing. The topic of this is how do you begin your day? How do you begin your day? I know for a lot of us, we wake up and the first thing we do is grab our phone. I know I'm guilty of it, but I tend to grab my phone because I want to know what time it is. I don't have a clock, but then I have to admit after I see the time, I immediately go into social media or really my text messages and I may spend the first couple of minutes actually seeing what's happened if someone has messaged me over the night. But then I get up and I am very intentional about beginning my day with setting an intention or setting the pace or setting the goal. And I do that by reading something every day. It may be the Bible, it may be a devotional, it may be another book that I just break into chapters and I may read a chapter each day. But I read something that kind of helps me to begin to focus on something outside of myself that begins to set the pace for the day. It's something that gives me something positive to think about or maybe something that I may need to look at within myself. And for that note, I bring to you a good friend of mine for the last 30 days, I've been reading her book and it's called The Soul Surrender by Melissa Brown. And she says, 30 days to let go and align yourself with God's will. And I just want to um, read to you something that I read this morning that I think I would invite you to kind of think about. So it says, just like you wouldn't attempt to give somebody directions to tell you where you've never been, perhaps it's time to stop trying to tell God the way your life should go. You have no idea who you really are and what you're here for. And it's only when you surrender to becoming that you are guaranteed to get there. And I'm going to read the last line again. It is only when you surrender to becoming that you are guaranteed to get there. So I encourage you to purchase this book, The Soul Surrender. It's available on Amazon and other platforms. And uh, I believe that it will bless you. I believe it will help to set the pace for each one of your days for 30 days. The book begins with an affirmation and it gives you some readings about her topic. And then she gives you an action piece, something to do, something to think about. It's more just how to help you to take what you've read and then make it personal. You know, sometimes we read things, we go, ooh, that was good. And we just keep on going. Nothing stuck. But the action steps in this book help you to personalize it, to internalize it. So I am actually preparing to go on vacation. So I got some other things to do. Um, I'm looking at my shirt. Autism is not a disability. The beginning of it, the end of it says it's a different ability. So you have a wonderful day. Put your comments in. What do you do to start your day? But if you want, if you find yourself wondering, what am I here for? Uh, why am I struggling with my life? Um, why am I not achieving the goals that I want to achieve? And she says in the back of the book, the level of your success depends on the level of your surrender. So I invite you to get this book and begin the process of surrendering. Love you all. Bye-bye.